Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as part of my foundation review testing series which I plan on doing, I'm going to be testing a new foundation today for you guys. Now I previously spoke about how my skin isn't oily and I don't really suffer with oily skin, but since I tried that Domacol foundation, my skin has been in such a bad condition. As you can see, I've had a really big breakout because of it and this section here, like my T-zone, has just been really oily. I don't know if it's the foundation in particular or if it's actually just my body and my skin skin itself but I've never really suffered with oily skin before until now so I don't really know what to think in terms of that and I've been really struggling to try and get rid of that so if you guys have any tips on how to actually get rid of oily skin then let me know. I've been exfoliating, I've been using oily skincare type products and all sorts of things like that but nothing's really helped at all so yeah if you have any tips on how to get rid of that that'd be really useful and you can leave that down in the comment section below so yeah I'm gonna prime my face then again with the Boots Simply Sensitive Hydrating Moisturiser and like I said I really want to stick to using the same moisturiser throughout this whole series so this is the one I had the most of and I could definitely repurchase again if I run out of it so yeah I'm just gonna apply this using my fingertip And that is my moisturiser slash primer done. So I'm just going to let that sink into my skin for a little bit, as I always normally do, um, before I put my foundation on. So I'm just going to leave this to set for around 15 to 20 seconds, just whilst that sort of sets into my skin and moisturises it and everything. So now on to testing the foundation itself then. So this one I got from Primark for £5. And in this little bottle here, we have 32 millilitres of foundation. This was the lightest shade that they actually had in Primark whilst I was down there on my shopping trip. There wasn't really a wide amount of colours or variation in terms of skin types and stuff but yeah I just picked this one up and just decided to make a go of it. I've been really wanting to try a Primark foundation for quite a while now so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just opening up the box then. I haven't actually looked inside of this or anything yet so this is the first time. So hmm first impressions on the actual um, packaging and everything this is really really good like I really like the fact that it's in a little glass jar it just looks really presentable and for five pounds I just think already looking at it it looks pretty good to me but who knows what it's actually going to be like inside so yeah this one claims to be a long wear mineralized foundation not sure what the mineralized actually means I can hardly pronounce it to be fair yeah this one has an SPF 15 in it vitamin A and E it says it smooths the appearance of skin imperfections and moisturizes provides excellent coverage with a natural finish and weightless feel. Another perfect foundation for the summer then. I just love any foundation that has SPF 15 in it because it just protects my skin and just helps with that throughout the summer. And so let's get into it. So like I did before then, um, I'm gonna apply the foundation onto my skin using my foundation brush. I always use this no matter what foundation I'm using to apply this from the applicator thing to my skin so I'm going to be using that and then taking my oval brush on one side and then my beauty blender on the other side to fully blend that into my skin so I'm just applying that one pump it's getting there here we are so just one pump onto my brush there then I'm going to need a mirror aren't I really so I'm just going to use my um, beauty mirror thing here which I got from HomeSense and just apply that to my skin the colour isn't too bad it looks a little bit pale um, on the mirror and on the camera, but we'll see how it blends out. So I'm going to blend that out using my oval brush here. It feels quite thick on my face to be honest. Um, but when you're trying new stuff, you always try and pick out the negative sides to it all. So I'm just going to let it work and see what I think of it all afterwards, I guess. So I'm just blending that down to my neck to make that look more even. But yeah, this blended out quite well to be fair so far so good that is what it looks like on my skin at the moment so this is the first application one pump on one side of my face so yeah in terms of coverage then I can't really see like because this side's in a better condition than this side you can see that like clearly but it seems to have covered up my freckles a little bit I have quite prominent freckles which I find so difficult to cover anyway yeah I think the colour is pretty good as well so let's get on to the other side so just another pump onto this brush then it doesn't really smell very nice. It smells quite, it smells like tacky, like glue. It just smells really sort of gluey. It smells like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but like really plasticky and just smells like a material of like plastic or something like that. So the smell doesn't smell the greatest. 
So that is how I apply the foundation onto my skin with the brush and then I always do that and then I blend it out afterwards into my skin with the beauty blender. So I'm taking this on that side to blend it into my skin. Now it has done a pretty good job in actually covering those spots. As you can see they've completely covered up. Other than the one that is here that is quite bad and I've really struggled trying to cover up over the past few weeks. But I think that's done a pretty good job in terms of coverage um, using the beauty blender. I kind of prefer the beauty blender on this foundation to blend it out with because it just really um, helped make the use of that product. So you can definitely see the difference in terms of the brushes and the techniques I use to blend in that foundation. This side here has gone a lot more or less coverage, whereas on this side here using the beauty blender it gave a little bit more coverage and it just really worked with that foundation into my skin. Obviously I've got a few problem areas which are quite difficult to cover anyway, but for one application each on both sides of my face. I think it's done a pretty good job so far. It does look really pale. I mean, porcelain was the lightest colour and I wouldn't normally go for a porcelain colour because it's obviously not my sort of shade. But yeah, I do think the colour is quite light. Um, this is the first side then with the oval brush. It's just a lot more of a smoother um, foundation. It's definitely worked in with those oily areas, which is a plus side from the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender didn't really work in those areas where I had oil. It kind of just sat and rested on top of my skin. It feels a little bit tacky on my skin at the moment. I'm just checking the box to see if it actually has a skin type which this is like designed for. But I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. But I would definitely not recommend this foundation if you have oily skin because it's left quite a few creases under my skin already. It hasn't actually soaked into my skin. It's just layered on top of that. Um, it's just layered on top of it and it just doesn't feel very nice on my face. But I don't know if that's due to my skin type or if it's just the foundation itself. But my skin is quite oily at the moment so I don't really know what else to say about it. But So I've just finished applying all of the makeup to the rest of my face. And to be honest with you I really like the shade of the colour of the foundation underneath all of my makeup. Because it just makes my face look a little bit more brighter and enhanced. And the contour worked really well with it to be fair. Now that I have the rest of my makeup onto my skin the foundation itself doesn't feel as oily. I think once I put powder over it and set it into place it just really helped that and worked with it really well so yeah I'm quite impressed with this foundation from Primark for five pounds yeah I think it's pretty good and I will definitely be using it again at some point but I haven't yet found a foundation that has beaten my Maybelline fit me foundation so we'll see how it goes in the future so yeah I definitely prefer the beauty blender to blend out the foundation just because it just really worked with that foundation it didn't really take away so much product whereas using my oval brush it kind of swept that product away into the brush whereas this one just just blended it into my skin. I definitely recommend a sponge to blend this foundation out with. Overall then, I'm gonna rate this foundation maybe a six or seven, just because it's not the right shade for me, to be honest, and I don't really have a wide variety of foundation colors for different skin types and things like that, so that's why I'm gonna rate it a seven, and just because of the fact it's not really for a specific skin type. So yeah, that's my reviews then for that foundation. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this review and liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of this kind of series and I'll see you all again in another video. Bye!